Being a successful trader also takes courage, the courage to try, the courage to fail, the courage to succeed, and the courage to keep on going when the going gets tough. Perhaps my number one rule is, don't try to make a profit on a bad trade, just try to find the best place to get out. The good traders are the ones who can hold their ground the majority of the month and participate in that small handful of trades that are windfalls. The real skill is in not losing money. If you ever have to ask someone else's opinion on a trade, you shouldn't be in it. Some of the best trades come when everyone gets very panicky. The crowd can often act very stupidly in the markets. You can picture price fluctuations around an equilibrium level as a rubber band being stretched. If it gets pulled too far, eventually it will snap back. As a short-term trader, I try to wait until the rubber band is stretched to its extreme point. I believe that only short-term price swings can be predicted with any precision. The accuracy of a prediction drops off dramatically the more distant the forecast time. I'm a strong believer in chaos theory. First, the fundamentals should suggest that there is an imbalance of supply and demand, which could result in a major move. Second, the chart must show that the market is moving in the direction that the fundamentals suggest. Third, when news comes out, the market should act in a way that reflects the right psychological tone. If a position doesn't feel right as soon as you put it on, don't be embarrassed to change your mind and get right out. If you become unsure about a position and you don't know what to do, just get out. I look for confirmation from the chart, the fundamentals, and the market action. I think you can trade anything in the world that way. I think to be in the upper echelon of successful traders requires an innate skill, a gift. It's just like being a great violinist. But to be a competent trader and make money is a skill you can learn. I will continue to lose money and lose all if I lack patience so as to ignore the trading principle and rush into the market without waiting until the main trend becomes clear. If we saw a surprise price move against us that we didn't understand, we often got out and looked for the reason later. See the signal, like the signal, follow the signal. If you follow your system or methodology then over time your edge will kick in and you'll end up ahead. The trend following systems approach doesn't work anymore. The problem is that once you have to find a trend and taken a position, everyone else has taken a position as well. Since there is no one left to buy, the market swings around in the other direction and gets you out. One reason we don't have many good trends anymore is that the central banks are preventing currency moves from getting out of hand by taking the other side of the trend. Trade assets that are not dominated by the big professional traders. I don't trade the Dow stocks. I prefer the little ones because they are not dominated by the big professional traders who are like sharks eating each other. The basic principle is that it is better to trade the Australian dollar than the Deutsche Mark and the small OTC stock than the big Dow stock. When I'm losing money, I say to myself, you can't keep trading. And when you get a good card, you should be patient to hold. Otherwise, you can't make up for the money you lost when you got a bad card. When the news is wonderful and a market can't go up, then you want to be sure to be short. You develop an almost subconscious sense of the market on the floor. You learn to gauge price movement by the intensity of the voices in the ring. For example, when the market is active and moving, and then gets quiet, that is often a sign that it is not going to go much further. Also, sometimes when the ring is moderately loud and suddenly gets very loud, instead of being a sign that the market is ready to blast off, as you might think, it actually indicates that the market is running into a greater amount of opposing orders. You have to follow your own light. Because I have so many friends who are talented traders, I often have to remind myself that if I try to trade their way or on their ideas, I am going to lose. 